Hey guys, what's up? Moses here, otherwise known as 21st Century Moses. I'm bringing you guys a new video today. So first of all, this gameplay you're seeing, just some free fall I got a couple days ago when I was coming, like I came home for lunch, and my lunch is only like half an hour, and you have to count like the five minutes driving there and back, so it's like 20 minutes, and then I had to log on and everything, so I only had like 50 minutes to play. So I played some free for all and this is one of the gameplays I got. It's not bad, I just don't get to finish it. So if you're asking what happens, and it's pretty slow, because I was thinking about leaving and everything, and I was Thought I was gonna get a KM for a little bit. I don't know. I just I make a bad decision. Hold on, I gotta turn my little heater off. I don't want that making some noises, even though it's fucking freezing right now. And it's also snowing, so I may or might not be getting a text later that's talking about like the snow because my school might cancel early. I'm kind of hoping it does because we don't have to make those days up. But I'm just home now because like my classes are. We have seven periods. We go from eight o'clock till three fifteen, and each one's generally about. I don't know, like 50 minutes long, so I'm going for your second or third period if you guys still follow me. <clears throat> I'm curious to see, though, if like, you guys have block schedule. I think block scheduling is when you have like three or four periods a day. Like My school used to do that, but then we switched our test scores and blah, blah, blah. blah. Bunch of boring shit. But this commentary I'm talking to you guys is about the future, and I'm one of those people that actually kind of obsesses about the future there's a lot of things about the future that we don't know we'll never know until it actually happens you know like we like to predict we like to speculate we like to make assumptions all kinds of different words that you can throw in there but the fact like the matter that remains at the end of the day we really don't know what the future holds for us like say you got Johnny Football and if you guys are a sports fan you know who Johnny Football is we assume that his future is very very bright we assume that he's gonna be a very great quarterback in the NFL but say he has like a career in the industry and ah in injury. <laughs> but we really don't know if that's gonna happen or not, so that's just one of the things that like we like to speculate on and all kinds of different stuff. We also assume that tomorrow's gonna be there. We don't know tomorrow's generally gonna be there. You, like you're supposed to live each day it's like it's your last. But you're also supposed to be smart about Hold on, I want to get this right. Each, live each day like it's your last, and be smart like the tomorrow might actually come. So you're supposed to do that. What that means is, do everything that you want to do today. Don't have like regrets in your life and stuff like that. Be smart. Like, Don't go out there and rob a bank because, well, tomorrow might not happen. Yeah, just insert a little bit of logic. But if you think like everywhere around us, people are preparing for the future, especially around me, because you guys should know that I'm a senior in high school, and college is right around the corner. And a lot of people are talking about which college they plan on going to, uh, writing scholarships, and all kinds of this jazz. A lot of people just got their SATs back yesterday, and a lot of people are trying to go to IU. You guys should know what IU is. I don't have to explain that for you. So people are just trying to prepare for their future, like their majors. Some people are getting into colleges. They don't even know what their major is going to be. Well, like, that's not totally wrong. But personally, I just think you should actually know where you're going, because, like, Say around here, if you want to go to like medical, I think I use best. But if you want to become like an engineer, I'd say Purdue's better. So there's that. <clears throat> um, but do we really know what our future is gonna hold? I personally, I don't think so. Like anything can happen in the blink of an eye. Like literally anything. We can get nuked on right now. It's probably not gonna happen, but it's always a possibility. You know, people always say you're supposed to expect the unexpected. And I wonder if that's, like, really true, because, <clears throat> like, say you're playing, like, a sports game or something like that. So you can, I like talking about sports a little bit, I guess. Like, say you're playing, like, um, football. You don't know, well, I guess you can guess, but you don't know if they're going to pass it, who they're going to pass it to, if they're going to run, which direction they're going to run. If you're, like, guarding somebody, you don't know if they're going to pass the ball, you don't know if they're going to try and drive in, you don't know if they're going to shoot it, all that different stuff. So, like, you're just supposed to be prepared because you don't know what's going to happen. You're, so you're going to try and cope with it the best way that you can actually do so. <clears throat> and some people, like, this was a quote from uh, House of Cards. If you guys do not watch House of Cards, get Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash Woody. You can get a free month or you can just get a free month without using netflix.com slash Woody. But it's just like an inside joke from Painkiller already. So you go there, get your free month, watch some... House of Cards, there's 13 episodes right now. Season 2 comes out on Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, 14th, uh, 2014, why well, I said second 14th, <clears throat> but watch House of Cards, fucking Kevin Spacey is amazing in there. I'm a, I love politics, like, I don't necessarily love it, but I just learned, like, the whole ordeal with it, and I, like, I think it's, like, power, and, I don't know, House of Cards just makes me want to, like, actually watch the news, but I don't really like watching the news because it's biased, and I don't want to get into that. 
but the actual quote why I brought it all up and everything is they said success sec ah I can't talk today I'm telling you success is luck and preparing so success does come with luck so take um, Bill Gates for example you know he was preparing and he told people he was going to be millionaires and everything like he worked his ass off in his garage wherever he was so that's I say preparing preparing for the future stuff like that trying to be ahead of the game and a lot of his luck too like he can't necessarily predict all this is going to happen he never predicted to become the position that he's in today and if he did I think he's like lying to be frank but so I just wanted to leave you guys with a quote to end it off and because this commentary is coming to wrap the bleem up I believe I do end up going 18 and 4 to end the gameplay, but I'm not really going to stick around for that last kill. So I just wanted to give you guys a video today, and my name's Moses. Uh, have a great day, and be happy.